With ordinary acrylic wool, the kind you knit into sweaters, researchers have developed a technology that could power the future. After many more experiments, finally we found the optimum conditions. The acrylic yarn contains a chemical group uh, which can be converted to specific chemical groups for extraction of uranium from seawater. The ocean contains about three parts per billion of uranium, but that minute amount adds up to some four billion tons of potential fuel, enough to power nuclear reactors for the next few centuries. To determine the optimal conditions for extracting it, Bundles of treated orange yarn were attached to the floor of a pool at the Pacific Northwest National Laboratory in Seattle. Mimicking the action of the waves, a paddle wheel circulated raw seawater over them for a month. The researchers tested the yarn regularly to see how much of the radioactive substance adhered to the surface of the fibers. We're able to control seawater, we use natural seawater, we can control the temperature of that deployment, we control the current flow, so we, which are very important parameters that we've identified uh, in the performance of the absorbent. The yarn was then sent to LCW Supercritical Technologies, where it was processed to extract the uranium powder. The initial sequence yielded five grams of yellow cake, the basic component of the fuel rods used in nuclear power reactors. Now, five grams is not a lot, but scaling up the process could be a game changer for the U.S. nuclear power industry, which currently imports nearly 90 percent of the uranium it uses. The technology has potential for other fields as well. This material uh, also uh, can extract heavy metals, precious metals, so I can see many applications, including removing toxic metals from waterways, industrial wastewater treatment, and also recovering precious metals from streams. And that's good news for the future of the oceans. I'm Faith Lapidus, VOA News.